upgrade some of it. They're solid, but they're not. Um, 16? Where, no, they, they are bred younger than that, and some give birth okay. like at 12 years old, first breeding, yeah. So it wouldn't happen in the wild, yeah. uh, but uh, it, it's done for economic reasons, get more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But not healthy. And so it's injuries quite similar to potential. human age. Like everything's quite similar. Their similar. age, their, oh, yeah. their mm -hmm. lifespan, their age that they can fall pregnant from, but their age that they generally would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lacquers are really good. They're, <laughs> they're best friends. They're very close. They just do their own thing. So well, these are part of a herd of elephants that were rescued from uh, a really well-established um, business and um, and Elephant Nature Park um, purchased them as an entire um, um, herd and uh, it was a really spectacular opportunity um, for the elephants and for the um, um, Save the Elephant um, Foundation to be able to uh, rescue all of these animals and the business that cared for these animals um, was super well established and, and quite wealthy um, in the logging and um, um, tourist industry of course um, with um, trekking and um, having the elephants with baskets on their backs and uh, they accepted um, Lake and Derek's um, proposal to help them um, transition from um, from a business of um, abuse towards the animals to a business then now that runs similar to this business. So um, these folks are making a difference everywhere in this world um, with their uh, model, and it's all based on their love of these animals. And uh, you know, I, I'm just in tears all afternoon listening. To Derek come um, share his world-class story uh, with us about his experiences and I just want you to know I think he's a Canadian boy and so I'm really super excited uh, I guess it doesn't really matter where we're from in the world um, when love is our um, when love is our most our motive right oh come on and there's Derek down on the beach calling his babes oh my god oh hello sweet beautiful darling with your special guy look at they love him just the way they love lake and uh, i asked if i could do some filming for the tv show and he said that he likes to take a back a back seat and um and i really respect that However, I want you to know he's just as world-class as Lake is, and I feel just as honored to sit and listen to him speak as, um, as we did yesterday with the beautiful um, message of love and peace towards animals and the goodwill towards nature and all living things that Lake shared with us. So, yeah, what an incredible, what an incredible couple and what an incredible foundation they're running, and wow. How blessed are we? Look at him. Oh, hello, my Derek, says this big guy. And I don't know all of their names, of course. And I wish I could be here longer to really get to know them and watch their... Um, and just watch their behavior patterns and... My, my... It's And we got the two little guys straggling behind over here. Let's see if I can get them in my view. You know, I want to remind you I'm an amateur. There I go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's his tribe. There's his herd. Oh. Okay.
can't see Derek anymore, but this is his herd. This is the elephant showing us that he's part of them. <laughs> you know, at first I was really sad that we weren't going to get to touch the animals and, you know, I thought throw water on them and get closer. Um, but I'll tell you, the longer I'm here, the more respect I have for the fact that we're hands off. Stand back, observe. As much as I'd love to be Derek right now down there sitting with those elephants, I so respect the fact that um, these animals have um, been abused and harmed by people their whole lives. And uh, to have us standing back and showing our respect for them is, um, is quite, um, quite humbling and I'm so grateful. And I realize now I don't need to touch them. I don't need to put food in their trunks. I don't need to bathe them. I don't need to, you know, stand right beside them for my photo op. It really is about these lovely creatures and their freedom. So if you're out there and you're thinking you might like to do something like this, but you only want to go somewhere where you're able to handle the animals, I hope that you really pay heed to what I'm trying to um, share with you, that um, if we truly respect and love these beautiful animals, it really is about, um, it really is about sitting back, quietly, humbly chopping food and, you know, cleaning stalls and um, creating space for their freedom in their touch-free zone where they get to be as natural as possible. And here comes a banana guy. Okay, come on girls, I got some bananas for you. And I bet you if we go on to the other side, we're gonna see that um, they've left some bananas on the feeding stools for the elephants on the other side too. It's the most generous, humane, place I could have ever ended up and again I just can't thank the universe enough for this experience and uh, I've been in tears for two days just uh, not that I want to be a total mess um, but I'm just so humbled and just so um, grateful that I've had this experience here at the um, Elephant Nature Park and uh, Derek and uh, Lake are definitely, definitely wildlife warriors. And um, in my own little way, somehow, some way, when I get home, I somehow hope that I can carry this message forth, even in our little community of Sudbury, Ontario. And um, I would just love to see my friends and family and even if I don't know you yet you're still my friend and I would just love to be able to share this experience with you and maybe um, help you plan your own um, opportunity to volunteer here in northern Thailand Chai Ma, in um, Chai, Chiang Mai in, um, in this elephant nature park I'm told by many of the guests and uh, volunteers that this is um, the best volunteer opportunity in Thailand because most of the models are built off this one and um, yeah. thanks for taking a minute to listen and join me here in Chiang Mai at this incredible space.